Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and we're going to be going over the NHL slate for this evening. Uh, we're going to go through our process in uh, analyzing the, the sheets and building lineups, both from a hand-building perspective and also from a Sabersim perspective, using both Saber score and contest simulations. Uh, hopefully you guys learn from this stuff. Uh, if you want to use the tools that we that we feature here, you'll join TrueDFS, where you have access to these types of customized projections, which I will be displaying. Well, I don't know if I'll be displaying them, but I'll be referring to them at least. Actually, I will be displaying. Um, and SaberSim, where you'll be able to build lineups in the way that I'll be doing here. Um, so again, the reason I do this is hopefully you guys will learn something as well, not just you know who to play on this slate. And uh, that's pretty much it. So. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go through the team totals and see what teams rate to do well. And that would be, looks like Detroit, the highest team total on the board with a four. And then Winnipeg at 3.7 and then Dallas at 3.7. So these are the three teams that should, you know, project, project the best. But we'll see about that. Let's uh, pull up my sheets. They have to be somewhere here. And we're going to look at this from two perspectives. One is an indivi as individual players and then uh, as stacks. So one thing that stands out, I mean, just immediately, is that you have one, two, three Winnipeg guys all on the same line, all on the same even strength line, all on the same power play line, uh, rated first, second, and sixth as far as the sheets value score goes. Um, and that's unfortunately, or fortunately, something that just can't be dismissed. You know, this is, uh, you are going to get higher ownership on these plays, but it doesn't happen all too often where you have three, all three line mates, not to mention the goalie, not to mention Marcy, all within this top group. So they are going to project to be clearly above everybody else. Now, again, that doesn't mean you have to play them in the big NME uh, contest because that you know requires a lot of ownership fades and things like that. But when we're trying to figure out who to play, this is definitely step number one, is to identify that Winnipeg is clearly the best, uh, the best step. The other thing I look at here, is there any good one-offs that stand out? Yeah, I guess Daniel Sprung. But you really want to play someone on the fourth even strength line and second power play line? I don't know. Um, for what it's worth, the next best stack looks like maybe Detroit with DeBrincat and Kane on that power play line, maybe. But I have to say that given at least uh, what I'm looking at, with this Winnipeg line really does lay over the field here. Uh, let's take a look at the stack view. Let's take a look. Where is this? MLB, NHL stacks. And we rate our stacks in three different ways. One by raw points over here, one by value, which is basically points per dollar, and then modified stack, which is essentially rated by sheets value score. And as I sorted them through, hopefully you noticed that Winnipeg does, not surprisingly, rate as the top uh, ranking from a modified perspective, meaning from sheets value score, from a points per dollar perspective as well, and even when you're rating them by just raw points, they're number two, okay? Uh, of note is that the Florida line does rate number one in overall raw points. So if you can get them in, um, you know, that's, that's probably pretty good. Um, and they're all gonna be lower owned than Winnipeg. But again, whether you look at it from an individual perspective or from a stack perspective, Winnipeg certainly looks like the best play. So let's... um. Uh, next thing we'll do is we'll pull up a, uh, a DraftKings uh, lineup build or lineup, and we'll just build a, a single entry, you know, a single entry or what do you call it? A, just a, yes, yeah, single entry lineup, given the takes that we just had. And then we're going to have some fun. Then we're going to put it into SaberSim and see if we get the same types of things. So, Sheffley, who did I say? Uh, Ellers, Villardi. Who else? Morrissey and who is the other guy? Let's see. It was uh, Sheffley, Ellers, Velarde. Yeah, these four. 
So these four, you can play these pretty easily. I wonder if you can play Florida as well. I don't know, but let's put let's put a goalie in. We could we could actually correlate pretty nicely with hella book if we could afford them. But the thing is, if we do this, you only have forty four hundred a man. We didn't see that much uh, value; wasn't that great. So let's go back to our usual plan of um, of finding a good cheaper goalie to put in. So that would be. Well, Br 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 Browski is 7,900. I wanted something even cheaper. I'm not even going to projections on all these yet. I'm sure one will show up eventually. Okay, Markstrom from Calgary is 7,300. That, that, that's fine. Actually, that's against Florida. So you probably don't want to do that. Um, let's do Gustafson. Well, Pittsburgh, he's probably going to um, so at 46.25 a man, I mean, where are we going to go for value? Let's take a look. Um, first, let's see if we can't jam in a fifth Winnipeg. It's probably a good idea, right? Sheffle and then Morrissey. Who's the next Winnipeg guy on the list? We don't even see him. Uh, this is the second power play line. Who else on that first power play line for Winnipeg? So it's probably supposed to do that, right? It would be, I don't even have a fifth. Oh, Perfetti. So can we afford that even? And let's put him in and see what happens. So now 4,400 a man, probably do it. We just have to sort by point per dollar and it just kind of builds itself, right? Let's just, let's just do it though. And this is, this is really not the worst way to build these hand-built lineups, honestly. So let's uh, resort by point per dollar maybe and reek top point per dollar play on the board 3300 dollars center which obviously is very useful now we could do whatever we want i mean we could probably add another anaheim guy uh if we want or we could even get a little greedier so if you want we could put in a uh namas uh Damistov from winnipeg that's a sixth guy though it's not going to work actually it could No, because you need three, three teams, right? Yeah, okay. Three teams of skaters. So you can you go six one one, and then I mean, if you want, right? So who's the other Winnipeg guy you can put in? Namus, no, I'm not going to play anymore. That's six Winnipegs and then two skaters, 5,100 each. Want to put, I mean, you can put whatever you want. This is this is easy pickings. You even play a better goalie. Uh, who's not on the, who, give me somebody from a good line. There you go, this guy from Calgary. First power play line, first even strength line. Something like that. And then a, a good defenseman even. Like who's the best defenseman on the list? Oh, th these guys are going to be so popular. Because see how easy it is to build all this stuff? Mars, who we already have. There you go. Heskin. We've played him before. He looks reasonable. And we can upgrade our goal if we feel like it. And this is this is the way you just jam in Winnipeg if you want. All right, uh, let's go pull up Saberson, though, because I think this is going to be a little more interesting. And I wonder I, I wonder what, what, what's going to happen with the Saberson builds. I'm going to predict that we're going to do it two ways. We're going to do it just rated by Saber score, and then we're going to do a contest sim. I'm going to predict that when we rate them by Saber score, it's going to give us 100% Winnipeg. That's my prediction. And then when we rate them by, um, we do a contest sim and we factor in what other people are likely to be playing, that being Winnipeg, I think we'll end up with very little. What do you think of that? 
what will be the team though that I get instead of Winnipeg in the contest sim version? That's going to be the quiz. I guess it's going to have to be Florida, right? That's going to be my guess. My guess is again, if we rate it by Sabre score, which is going to be see in about two seconds, it's going to say 100% Winnipeg. And then otherwise, when we, when we do our contest sim, I'm going to say, well, maybe Detroit, because that sprung is very cheap. Let's just take a look. So as mentioned, all the Winnipeg, as I mentioned, let's look at the stack sizes, stack exposure, team stacks, 100% Winnipeg. Let's see if we did uniques three, even uniques three. Oh, finally, we get to 96% Winnipeg. So let's first, let's first put these in, in the, uh, let's put these in the, uh, in our lineups first. So we have something. Same piece of the contest. Before we do that, let's let's grab the contest sim data where it says how many people, how many entrance rates will be in each contest so that we can then rerun all this stuff against what we think the field's going to be doing. So let's see. What do you guys think? We're running it now. You think we're going to still get all the Winnipeg? Or are we going to go look at something else? I think we're going to get something else. And I had this discussion in another video when we did basketball. How in basketball, it's 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 you don't really get too big of that extra contest sim gap between what you would get from your normal, you know, saber score type builds. But in hockey, you usually do. Let's just see. I will say this: that if, if even running the contest sims, you're going to get all the Winnipeg then you probably should just play it. All right, let's see. Okay, ready? Kick save. Risk adjusted RY ready? Let's go. No. Nope. Yep, and there it is. Here comes Anaheim. So Anaheim becomes just as highly owned as Winnipeg when you factor in ownership. And then the question is, not well, not, well projected ownership, right? Now the question is, what do you do with this? You know, which one do you use? Um, first thing is that what I would do is I would first I would get rid of this this dreck here this uh, the four two twos the four zeros the three threes the five zeros the three two twos the three twos even the four twos uh, what about the three three twos let's see how many we're dealing with here. Uh, oh, three threes get rid of, no stacks get rid of, two zeros get rid of, two twos get rid of, two twos get rid of, two, 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 three. Okay. We'll keep in a couple of three, three, twos, just short enough slate. Let's see how that impacts the exposure. Now it gets you more Winnipeg, but it's actually get you more Dallas this way. So I actually enjoy this uh, this uh, separation instead, this construction instead, just because I really don't feel like having 100% Winnipeg. Now, we had this discussion live in another sport where they said, do you want to limit your exposure? And I went on this whole tirade about, well, if it looks that great, you should probably play it, even if it's 100%. Um, but uh, if you are running a normal type of, of lineup const of construction, like we're doing here with the contest sims, uh, and that will get you a little bit more diverse in a sport that you probably should be more diverse, then I'm going to go with that. And that, again, answers the question of which one to go with. Do you go with the Sabre score induced uh, lineup builds or the contest sims uh, based? And this particular slate, we're going to go with probably the contest. Sims. So let's save these into the kick save. Boom. Let's see what it looks like as far as the penalty kill goes. We've been running really well in hockey recently, by the way. If you have been following. 
And let's put these that is probably most good enough to get the penalty kill. And we're obviously going to change all this later, but that's the process. And it's like important, you know, to see what we struggle with as we go through this. So let's save this. Now I'm going to be going live with Bobby at six. You're going to do basketball and stuff. I don't know if I have time to do the hockey, but if I do, I will. And obviously, if there's big news, I'll, I'll update that. And uh, that's pretty much all I have for the day. Good luck, everybody.